LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Plan ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. <laughs> And lift off of Starlink 3 4. Go Falcon 9. Falcon is pitching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Max Q. And there's the call out that Falcon 9 has reached max Q, the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will feel during flight. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation. And there you can see that those fairings have deployed and the grid fins have also just deployed there on the first stage on the left hand side of your screen. Today marks the third flight for both of those fairing halves and we will be attempting to recover them once they fall back to earth with the help of our recovery vessel NRC Quest. Stage one at your print startup. As you can see there, stage one has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. This burn should last about 20 seconds. We have reignited two of the radial engine engines and the center engine, as you just saw there, that has concluded. Stage one transonic. As you just heard, stage one is traveling near the speed of sound. Stage two FTS is saved.
Stage one, landing burn. There you can see stage one has lit one engine, the center engine, to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Stage where you can start automatic. to see in the background here. Stage one, landing light deploy. Stage one, landing is confirmed. All right, and as you can see there, Falcon 9 has landed. We'll wrap up tonight's webcast. Be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.